Hey there, I'm Luke. Reading is an absolute vital part of our lives. Every single day, from the time we wake up to the time we go to bed, we constantly read. While this skill comes easy to some children, many struggle to grasp this concept. And some, well, the mountain seems almost too steep to climb. I asked our experts to share their top strategies to help children who seriously struggle hard in learning to read. Today, I'm going to share with you the top nine expert reading strategies used by the pros. They are number one, preview the text, number two, anticipation guides, number three, extending vocabulary, four, using context to find meaning, five, reading between the lines, six, making notes, seven, drawing conclusions, eight, making judgments, and nine, responding to text. It's time to explore those nine strategies and more on today's episode of Special Education Decoded. All right, before we dive into the nine expert reading strategies used by the pros, I'm hoping you can help. On the bottom right-hand side of your screen, you will see a little logo with the word subscribe on it. Click that real quick. Thank you so much. By the way, if you want to accelerate your child's reading skills and get caught back up fast, I'm gonna cover something in a bit that can help. As a parent, reading is often something that's challenging to teach. Most folks today have a pretty good grasp on reading, but how do you explain the crazy aspects of English? To a five-year-old, words like kernel, receipt, rapport, and others can be flat out impossible. Get to a higher level, more advanced reading, then it really gets tricky. Let's cover some strategies that can help. The nine expert reading strategies used by the pros. Number one, previewing the text. Now this strategy should be used before reading the book or text. This strategy helps children learn how to navigate subject-specific textbooks and resources. Previewing is used to locate information in different texts using the tables of contents, the indices if available, or even a navigation bar if reading something online. Number two, anticipation guides. This is another strategy that should be used before reading the book or text. The first part of the strategy is to examine and analyze the text. Next, the reader will determine how those features will help them find information and then use that information for learning. There are some key words to use during this strategy, such as survey, recite, review, and reflect. The third expert reading strategy is extending vocabulary. Like the last two, this strategy should be used before reading the book or text. This strategy is designed to help identify new or unfamiliar words, and at the same time, create a visual reference. With this identification, it's time to roll on to strategy number four, using context to find meaning. This strategy is used while reading and helps tackle unknown words that a young reader may come across. If an unknown word arises while reading, first look at the words surrounding it. Then, so long as you understand the sentence surrounding it, you can more easily determine the meaning of that unknown word. Number five, reading between the lines, otherwise known as inferences. This strategy is also used while reading. Helps draw specific meaning from the text. You do this by connecting your prior knowledge and experience to the text. With this information, you can make good guesses about what is, what may, or what did happen. Strategy number six is making notes Again, this is used during reading. First, just like the title of the strategy, write notes while reading. Doing this will help a young reader learn how to identify important information. This can be very helpful 
when studying for a test or researching or generating content for a writing task. Next on our list of expert reading strategies is drawing conclusions. This is used after the young reader is finished reading. A good rule of thumb to follow is the I read, I think, and therefore concept. Doing this helps develop content and opinions for persuasive writing or even debate, along with assisting in the gathering of information. Once you've collected the data, decide which information is important and which is not. The eighth reading strategy is making judgments. Again, this is to be used after reading. First, review what was read. Second, reflect on the learning you experienced while reading. Ask questions about the importance. Assess the different viewpoints and perspectives that could be taken from the text. The last expert reading strategy for today is responding to text. Just like the last two strategies, this is to be done after you're done reading. This strategy is designed to expand the reader's understanding of what they read by seeing what's written, hearing different ideas and thoughts, as well as the questions put forth by others. Finally, responding to text allows a reader to make personal connections to a specific topic by expressing their own thoughts and ideas. That concludes the nine expert reading strategies used by the pros. I know the subject of reading is heavy, and understandably, you may still have questions related to some or even all of these strategies. Advanced reading is not easy to teach, and it's almost impossible to comprehend for a lot of children entering this stage of learning. As I mentioned earlier, if your child is struggling with reading and you, as their parent, find yourself having a difficult time assisting them, we can help. The first step is to simply discuss the specific challenges your child is experiencing with one of our special education experts. Now here's the best part. It's 100% free to start. Simply click on the link found in the description of this video to get started. Since there's zero cost for the initial conversation and no commitment whatsoever, you literally have nothing to lose. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns related to these reading strategies, or even have a suggestion on a topic you'd like to see in an upcoming video, please either leave a comment or email us directly using the email address found in the description. From all of us at specialedresource.com, thank you for watching this episode of Special Education Decoded. We'll catch you on the next video.